Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Astros Kendall Graven and how he is not with the Astros anymore, as you can see. Uh, we, we're going to talk about a little bit of stats with the Astros and how, I mean, he, he was pretty good, right? But he's now with the White Sox. He's signed a deal with them. But here we could see um, his 2021 stats. We see his 1.77 ERA. He had 56 innings pitched which is pretty good, and a .98 whip, which is pretty good. I mean, he was 5-1 and one in his wins and losses, which a lot of times doesn't really matter, but um, the ERA is what matters the most, and he had a really good ERA, actually. He had games, uh, he had 53 games pitched, and this was a great year for him because um, as he, his MLB, MLB career ERA is 4.15, which is okay, but 1.77 is way better. And, Dad, what do you think about this of him leaving and just his overall stats with the Astros. Well, I, I'm overall, I guess I'm a little bummed. Uh, look, he had an amazing year last year. He had, this was the perfect time to have a great year. It was his, uh, you know, free agent year and he's going to cash some a bigger check. I think he made just over a million last year and he's going to be making 8 million a year for the next three years, total $24 million package from the White Sox. So, I mean, Look, the 1.77 ERA, first of all, most of that damage was with the Mariners. I think when he pitched with the Astros, it's actually a little bit higher. So he didn't actually do as well with us as he did Seattle, but he was still a great eighth inning setup guy for Ryan Presley. So he will be missed. Uh, he is a guy I wanted back in our bullpen. Uh, yeah. With that said, I think at the end of the day, it, look, Jim Crane is telling James Click, you have X amount of dollars to spend. And Click is doing the best he can on where to spend those dollars. So they just spent a lot of money for a starting pitcher, Justin Verlander. And let's be honest, starting pitching is still more important than the bullpen. So I think Click is going to try to find another good setup guy like a Graveman, again, for around a million dollars a year. He just wasn't willing to spend $8 million a year in the bullpen. I mean, basically only our closer Presley makes that kind of money. The rest are, you know, minimum league salaries uh, type of guys that are in there. So we're going to have to find some bullpen pieces. One question I wanted to ask you is with Graveman leaving, do you think Click now goes uh, hard after Yimmy Garcia, also a free agent, also kind of had just like an average year with us, had a better year with the Marlins before we traded for him, but he was decent in the postseason, had put in some good innings. So do you think we should bring Yimmy back now since we've lost Graveman, or does um, Click go and find new arms? What do you think? I think they might as well keep him, but I still think we need to find more pitchers because that's what the Astros have been struggling on as pitchers. Even more so starting – I mean, Verlander is coming back, which is good. But, I mean, I still think we just need one more good starter because you never know. The Colors does get injured a lot, and Verlander does too. So if one of those guys gets injured, then we only have, like, one really good starting pitcher. So I think we need at least one more good to have two, and then a couple good bull – I think we should go for uh, a bullpen guy since Graveman is leaving to answer your question. Yeah, we're going to have to sign another bullpen guy. The question is, do they spend the money on Yimmy Garcia or do they bring Yimmy back um, on a team-friendly contract and then go out and find another guy? Because losing Graveman is a hit. I don't. It's not a deal breaker. It's not like a nail in the coffin. But yeah, it would have been nice to have him back. He's a just, he's a legit reliever. He's perfect for the setup role. Uh, I can see him doing well with the White Sox. I don't know if he's worth twenty-four million over three years. Obviously, James Click didn't think so. And again, that's his job. He's just, he, his job for for the owner of this team is to find the best possible players at the cheapest possible price. And that's every GM's job. I don't care what people think. That's their job for their owner. Find the best possible players at the cheapest possible price. Now, not every team's like the Dodgers and the Yankees where you just go out and be like, find the best possible player. We'll pay whatever we need to pay. Most teams are not ran that way, and the Houston Astros are not. So yeah. um, we're going to see some new guys in the bullpen. I think Cause... adding another starter is legit. I wouldn't be. I would be okay with that simply because uh, Valdez gets hurt. Your Kitty's known to get hurt. Oda Rizzi's hurt. Christian Javier gets hurt. As you said, Lance McCullers gets hurt. So there's going to be times where we're going to have to find that long relief uh, bullpen guy to, to do some spot starts. And right now that's Christian Javier. And I'm okay with that too. So look, the other thing we have to consider is maybe they trade Oda Rizzi. Maybe they trade some of these pitchers to get that center fielder or to get a shortstop. We do have tradable assets. Everyone's yeah. looking for pitching. Yeah, and the Astros have been, like with the Dodgers and Yankees, they always, it seems like every offseason they get someone big, like some really good guy, but 
it's like that's the owner's decision because that has nothing to do with the players because i mean they can obviously like say we want this guy but he's the guy who's signing him and giving him the money that's right but obviously they don't care because they've been signing guys for millions of dollars but unlike the astros and most of the teams in the mlb they actually they don't want to spend that much money so they try to play it smart and get underrated guys that don't cost as much money yeah that's exactly right and that's a perfect segue uh, we've been holding off on talking about this topic but it's time we can't avoid it let's segue over into carlos correa okay so Car- it's well known carlos blake wants th- up to like 350 million dollars over 10 years he wants to break francisco lindor's contract that he got with the mets i'm sorry personally he's not worth that i feel like jim crane gave him a fair offer could it be better sure any offer can be better but he gave him a fair offer. I think six years. I don't know how much. How much millions? 150 million. Uh, Carlos felt disrespected. I mean, do what you got to do, Carlos. Go make that money. But where does he go? Do you see him staying in the American League? Is he going to the National League? He just had brunch with AJ Hinch, uh, who's a who's a Woodlands resident, still lives here in Houston. I mean, again, I mean, what do you think? I hate to be even talk about this guy because it's, it's going to suck. Carlos Correa leaving the Astros, but I've um, I've come to accept it already. Yeah, uh, I saw that picture of him uh, sitting with Jim Crane. I mean, not Jim Crane, uh, AJ Hinch, yeah. having uh, lunchtime. But I also heard that people may have said that that picture was a long time ago, and that but now they're just seeing the picture. But I'm not sure. I, I still think he's going to leave the Astros and probably still go to the uh, play with Hinch again because they've had history on the Astros, and they're pretty close. So obviously Astros fans don't want him to leave, but it's probably going to happen. Yeah, and I don't know. Going to the Tigers doesn't bother me. Uh, you know, as Astros fans, we just don't want it to be the Yankees or Dodgers. Um, it's just in our blood, right? But I just find it weird that Carlos Correa would go to Detroit. But, hey, if they're going to give him $300 million or more than that, it's kind of hard to walk away from that kind of money. So uh, we will see what happens. But, I, yeah, he's – I just don't see him come back to the Astros. Yeah, well, uh, that's going to wrap up the end of our video today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh We'll be back for more videos. Just uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what you thought on this video. And we will uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, thank you, guys. Peace out. Peace out.